<laughs> Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Bruin Fieldhouse for tonight's non-league matchup, Jim, between Cathedral High School and your Lady Highlanders from Sombol. Jim Bob Entertainment, Educational Channel 15. Cathedral, Jim, 9-6. and six. Somerville, 6-6. Six and six. Somerville just come off a loss last night at Malden. And it was a tough loss, Bob. You, neither you nor I were, was there, but Jeff Argingiano was there, and he called both of us uh, last night to notify us that in the second half of that game, Somerville only mustered five points. Five offensive points in one half of basketball. And that's after being ahead at halftime, you tell me. They were ahead at halftime by nine. So that was a rough evening for Somerville. That loss put them back to 500, 6 and 6. And last year, Bob, Somerville played Cathedral for the first time in Cathedral. That's out in Springfield, Mass. That's Western Mass. You were able to make that trip. Right. And that was the loss for Somerville, 57 to 40. So the Highlanders hoping to exact some revenge here tonight. Absolutely. The JV team already beat Cathedral today. Now it's a varsity's turn. And last night, Jim, we talked about that devastating loss. Marley the Mangler, McLaughlin Bell, sprained her left thumb last night. She's got that taped up today. That could affect the shooting, Bob, of Marley the Mangler. Look for her. I don't know if it will, but if so, she might, she might be dishing it off more so to the likes of Machete Mackey, who I diagnosed, me personally, so I don't spread rumors, but I personally have diagnosed her, I'm not a doctor, with conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis? Yes. She the came, Machete. Yes. She came over to me and Coach Harris before the game across the gym. And she said, what's wrong with my eye? She was doing this. What's wrong with my eye? What's wrong with my eye? And I said, your finger's in it. And they're said, all watery. Well, then she took her finger away, and I could see it was kind of like uh, sort of inflamed, watery, red. Right. Looked like conjunctivitis. So I told her, do not touch anything on our table. This is a no germ zone. She got some hand sanitizer from a fan. But she's going to be touching that basketball tonight, Bob. So I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Well, stay tuned. At halftime, we should have, finally, the translation of my, my name in Russian, Jim, Paula Mackey is going to bring over her friend Nadia. So hopefully we'll talk to her at halftime. Also at halftime, if we have time, we're going to do a brand new magic trick never before seen in Somerville. Stay tuned for that. we got to do the starting five. Right now? Right now. A little early. It's still a little early. You got something? Well, I was going to tell the folks at home that that magic trick, not only is it new for Somerville, I have not shown anybody. This, this, is, this is really my debut. I've been practicing it over the week with all the snow. I did a lot of rehearsal before I left the house today. I did it three times flawlessly right before we went on the air. I went up there and did it th another time flawlessly. I'm a little bit nervous doing it live, Bob, in front of a camera. But I'm hoping for the best, a little bit exciting. That's all right. I'll do my best, Jim, to make this trick look good. Here we go. There's the buzzer. That's our cue. 